Hey, I'm Liji Kurovala from the NetBackup product management team, and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about NetBackup Instant Access for VMware. Instant Access for VMware allows the VMware administrator to be in complete control. They can go ahead and quickly provision a VM directly from the backup storage using a completely agentless uh, strategy, no agents to be deployed for backup or restore. They can test new patches or updated code directly on this VM that is running on backup storage. That way they don't have to risk their production instances. You can mount and browse, download files and folders, kind of like a shopping cart, create a list of files and folders and then download them. And you can do this for multiple VMs concurrently. So it's pretty powerful. So on this NetBackup server, I'm going to add some vCenter credentials. Clicking save over here will trigger a discovery job and identify the VM assets to be protected. Well, that's a long list. So we're gonna use intelligent groups. An intelligent group is a way to use SQL type language against the vCenter hosts and create a listing or a set of machines that we wanna protect. So for now, let's go ahead and choose display name and I'll go ahead and enter a prefix as well. And once we're done with that, clicking the preview button over here will help us identify the host names that'll satisfy this query. So here we have some. Give it a description and save it. Next, we will associate this VM group with a protection plan. For that, we will need a storage server using our ddupe engine. Instant access is a unique benefit offered by our ddupe engine. So let's create a protection plan. So under protection plan, these are workload specific. So for our current workload, which is VMware, let's give it a name and a description that we can understand it later by. Choose a workload, find VMware in the drop down list, and let's click next. Here we're going to go ahead and add some schedules. We'll choose the default schedule for now, and uh, we'll open up the backup window so it runs all the time. Let's click save here, and now our important storage options. For storage options, we have to choose our deduplication engine that allows us the instant access functionality. We then have some backup options for VMware. The snapshot host, the type of transport that we use. I'm going to go ahead and choose LAN. And we also have some snapshot retry options as well that you can choose. Let's click next. In the permissions, it allows us to define RBAC roles. We're gonna skip that now. And finally, click finish. This creates the protection plan. We now assign this protection plan to an intelligent group. So let's pick one of our intelligent groups and add a protection plan to it. This allows us to just review the selections one more time. So here's our protection plan. Click next. These are all the choices that we've done earlier in the protection plan itself. Let's go ahead and click protect. And once that's done, it'll actually go ahead and fire off some jobs in the background. While these jobs are running, I'm going to retrieve a couple of VX update packages from the Veritas download center and apply them to the NetBackup master or primary server. John Hank, my colleague, has a video on that, and I'm going to add a link to that in the description below. Let's dive into the instant access recovery options. So let's first select a VM that we can recover from. So let's go and choose 03. So, and browse the available recovery points for this VM. So there's only one, we just backed it up right now. So let's download files and folders. Now, this actually mounts the image 
on the storage backend and presents us with a view that allows us browsing of the image. So let's go into the Etsy folder, pick a couple of files, resolve.conf, and let's also go ahead and pick the host file. It's tiny. And click Add. Now, this creates a download package. We can just go click download right there and you can see it's got at the bottom of the browser. Let's open it up and here's a couple of files and the host file is as expected pretty tiny. Next, I'd like to also show you how to do uh, instant access of the entire VM. So let's go back into the recover section and create instant access to the virtual machine. This allows us to recover the VM back to the original display name or choose an alternate name. Let's go ahead and add a suffix uh, test and then I'll leave the remaining values as is. We have a couple of options here. We can choose to restore the original network configuration. I'm also going to go ahead and select vMotion. This allows me to use the machine right away while it's being migrated from the backup storage onto the vCenter data store. Now that this job has been kicked off, let's go ahead and take a look at vSphere and see our provisioned VM with the test name in it. So under discovered virtual machines, we should see our host test copy. There we go. Let's go to the web console. We can see that vMotion task is still active and we should be able to log in. Here's our virtual machine. vMotion's done. Let's go into net backup and delete the live mount instance that's running on our backup storage. Instant access allows VMware admins to achieve near zero recovery time objective for their critical workloads. This is Liji and thank you for listening.